Hey, what's up, Improvement Warrior? Jason Yun. Peyton Yun. Say hi. And Lucy. All here getting our morning sun. Today I wanted to talk to you about the morning sun and the process that we do. So, let me see. I, when we wake up and uh, just a little bit after sunrise. So, somewhere usually somewhere between 20 to 40 minutes we come over here so uh, obviously today there is no morning sun clouds so this is like day five of six or six of seven that we have not had any sun it's like we live in london or someplace with crappy ass whether it's summer so we're supposed to have our sun pissing me off but the process is I wake up get Peyton take his shirt off so he only has a diaper so that way he can build up his solar callus my shirts off as well I roll my shorts up sometimes I wear a kaniki which is a tan through bathing suit I'll make a video on that soon here as well and I get at least one dog she's excited to come the other dog tries to hide so it's whether I get to her or not is determinant if she will be here or not and sometimes Spencer will be here my daughter uh, who will be five in a couple weeks and then uh, basically I, I squat down and my hands are in the floor as well so I'm grounding and staring at the sky so the most important thing is just getting the color temperature so through our eye we have our master clock which is our super chasmatic nucleus that is the clock that basically runs the whole show it's the circadian oscillator um, so it's the number one thing for resetting our circadian clock and the number one thing that it needs to see is blue light. Yes, you've heard me talk about blue light all the time and how it's bad, but blue light from the sun is super, super important to get uh, because blue light from the sun is pretty much the number one circadian resetter. Um, so it basically resets the circadian biology because in our my 13 pillars of health circadian biology circa setting your circadian rhythm is the number one thing for your overall five minutes completed burn calories 31 calories overall health okay um so blue light for our blue light receptor is uh, known as melanopsin it is it's in the eye it's in the skin and it's in the uh, subcutaneous fat that we have okay so the more fat that you have the more you want to show it to the Sun and that way it will the blue light from the Sun will help to heal your body um, and do the magical things that it needs to do reset this the clocks because um, we just don't have the one clock we've got a peripheral clock in front of all of our organs it's been shown we have it in every single in front of every single one of our genes the genes it's estimated we have anywhere between 19,000 to 25,000 genes so that's at, at least we have that at least, at least that many clocks as well and so that's why it's super important the more diseased state that you are the more skin you want to show and that will help to um, reverse that process as soon or more quickly than just focusing on food and exercise because if that's all you do that's literally only about 10 to 15 percent max of um, restoring your health and but it's they're super important especially the more uh, 
the more messed up your diet is, the more it's going to be important. Because, and I'll go through that. Um, so the nutrition is not it's not that important unless you're really, really, really messing it up. Um, so there's a certain way that you should be eating to restore your body and your brain, um, which is coming soon. And keto is part of that. Low carb, high fat is part of that. Paleo is part of that. Um, so obviously if you're still following the standard American diet, you're in big trouble and you are headed for a, a disease and more than likely a neurological disease, a disease of obesity. And I mean, all the diseases that you hear about and nobody wants to get cancer, stroke, heart disease, diabetes. Okay. Um, but if you live long enough on the standard American diet, you will get a neurological disease where your brain just stops working. So Alzheimer's, dementia, all the bad stuff. And one other thing I wanted to mention, uh, about, uh, about a disease state. So the longer you have it, well, I mean, anytime you have a disease, so obesity, um, overweightness, diabetes, um, just anything, arthritis, the longer you have that, we are built out of cells and each of those cells is, we've got like hundreds of trillions of them. Each one of those cells absorbs and releases light and the more um, stressed you are, so when you do have a disease, you're under stress, you're releasing very low frequency UV light. And if you keep releasing it, then that's an issue because you, you need to replace it. And a lot of people, they live their life like a modern day zoo animal indoors all the time, which is not what we want to do. Um, so right now, the morning sun, we're not getting any UV light because there's no UV light. You can stare at the sun directly um, with no UV light and not have any issues. And uh, But when you're first starting, I always recommend starting staring about 15 to 30 degrees. Obviously now I can just look wherever because there's no sun. There's just these freaking clouds. However, just... You've got to understand that when you are releasing those low frequency UV light and you're not replacing it, then the disease process is just going to continue and continue and continue because that UV light the, is part of the spectrum that we cannot see. UV, so ultraviolet and IR, infrared light, we cannot see those spectrums. But those are the spectrums that do the magical things inside of our body, okay, to the chemistry of our body, to the biology of our body. Okay. You enjoying your morning sun? 10 minutes completed. Burn calories, 63 calories. So we got 10 minutes down. Usually I stay out 15 minutes. Um, well, usually only 10 minutes when, this, when there's no sun like this, but usually 15 to 20 minutes when the sun is fully in effect, which it is not. So uh, I'll stand out here. I am s squatting. Uh, it's recommended uh, to put all fours into the floor. So that way you get the electrons um, through the from the earth. So the Hall effect uh, states that anything that has more energy is going to give the energy to the thing that has less energy. So I am the thing that has less energy. The earth is the thing that has more energy. And basically energy, we get energy through electrons. So life is fundamentally about electrons, protons, and photons, which I'll talk more about here. Um, and yeah, so we walked about 400 steps from my house to get here, uh, because there's all these trees blocking me. I wouldn't be able to see the sun until probably 90 minutes or more, uh, after the sun rises, which, uh, UV will be present then. So, um, but the trees, so we got trees in front and we got trees in back, which is very good because it is an indicator that um, 5G will not be present here because anytime uh, you've got a lot of trees around, they can't put a 5G, a 5G antenna around where you live. Um, 
because the thing with 5G is it's a lot more powerful than 4G and 3G. However, the um, you need a lot of antennas around because the how far the frequency can go um, it isn't very far. So you need lots more antennas, and that's one of the reasons why 5G is going to be a killer, especially if you already have a disease and all that stuff. Okay. But that's another video, so this is about the morning sun. So, um, yeah, and then take your uh, we're as naked as possible because um, that way we're building our solar callus as well. So then when UV is present, I can be out um, when the UV is higher. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and not get burnt um, and all that stuff. So, but that's another video as well. So, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions about morning sun and about light and about anything health related, let me know. I'll see you later. Have a great day. Stay strong. Stay positive. Be the improvement warrior. Save a play, little boy. Save a play, Lucy. It's time to go.